name is Brittany Chandra with Chandra Dance Academy. Chandra Dance Academy is a Kathak Dance Academy located in Atlanta, and we dance the Indian classical dance called Kathak. Kathak originated in India. We're in the United States. Do you know where India is? That's right, it's really far away. So Kathak has been around for a very, very long time, about 5,000 years. Now today, not only Indians dance Kathak, uh, everyone dances Kathak all over the world. Uh, Japan, America, Canada, uh, Europe, you name it. Kathak is known for very fast spins. And very fast footwork. Kathak is kind of a mix between ballet dance and tap dance. Has anyone ever heard of ballet and tap? Very good. Also in Kathak, we tell stories in our dance. These stories come from old Indian books written a long time ago. I will show you an example of how we dance a story, but before we do that, I'm going to explain to you the instruments that are used in the music that we dance to. So the first instrument and the most important one is called a tabla. Try to say tabla. Okay. So with the tabla, it actually looks like normal drums, but they're a little bit smaller. So the musician, he sits and he plays this tabla with his hands. Okay, and this keeps the beat for us uh, and the timing. The second instrument that accompanies us is called a pakawaj. Try to say that, pakawaj. Okay, so this drum is a little bit longer and the hollow end is at the sides and the drummer plays on both ends of the drum. So our third instrument is called a sitar. Does this look like an instrument you've ever seen before? That's right, it looks like a guitar. And it kind of sounds the same also. So this instrument actually keeps the melody for us and makes it pleasant to the audience to hear. Our last instrument is called a harmonium. Try to say harmonium, it's really fun to say. Very good. So a harmonium, it looks like a very small keyboard. Um, the only thing is, is that you pull the front back and forth when you play it. So that's the major difference between a keyboard and a harmonium. This instrument also keeps the time and the melody for us when we dance. The very most important instrument that we use is wrapped around our ankles. These are called gungru. So our gungru are little bells wrapped around our ankles that also help keep time with the tabla. Um, and they are also the most important part of our costume. Other parts of our costume are what I'm wearing today, which is called an anarkali. We can also wear a very long skirt, which is called a langa. Male Kathak dancers wear sometimes an anarkali also, or they just wear a vest or sometimes even no shirt at all and pants along with that. Typically, we wear the anarkali or the langa with a dupatta. And a dupatta is just like your scarf at home. And it's so cold outside, I'm sure some of you brought scarves today. So maybe you can practice wearing a dupatta with your own scarf, right? So this is a dupatta. Um, we also wear bangles for our jewelry. We wear a necklace. We wear what's called a tika. We have a bindi and we have earrings. The story that I'm going to perform for you today is called Kaliya Daman. This story is a very old story and it's based on Indian traditional cultural belief. In this story, it takes place in a village. And this village is beside a big river called Yamuna. In the Yamuna, a big three-headed snake lives there in this river. And all of the village people are extremely scared to go to this river. 
So there is a little boy in the story, and his name is Krishna. Krishna is also a god of traditional Indian cultural belief. So Krishna, like any other boy, likes to play catch with his friends. So one day he was by the Yamuna, this big river, and he was playing catch with his friends. So they're throwing the ball back and forth. And Krishna, he was a little bit naughty too. So he said, you know what? I'm gonna throw this ball in the Yamuna, in this river. So he did it and his friends were so mad with him. So they said, you know what? You go and you get the ball out of there. So Krishna, not only was he naughty, but he was also very heroic. So he said, you know what? I'll go and I'll get that ball out of the river. So Krishna jumps into the river and he starts swimming around and he finds the ball, but it's right under the snake's tail. So he goes and tries to lift the ball from the tail. But when he does, Kalia, which is the snake, wakes up and is furious and very, very mad at Krishna. So all of a sudden, they start wrestling each other. And then Krishna defeats the snake. The snake is so grateful to Krishna for not harming him further. He says, please, just tell me what you need me to do and I will do that. And Krishna says, you just go away from here and you never come back. And so all of the village people and all of his friends were so happy that Krishna got rid of this big snake. So see if you can find parts of the story in my dance. And one other thing to look out for is Krishna always has his flute with him. He loves his flute. So see if you can see when I turn into Krishna and play the flute. my performance today. Did everyone find the flute? Where was it? That's right. It was at the beginning and at the end. Very good. Also, did you hear 
all of the instruments being played in the music. Can you remember what instruments that we talked about? Did you hear the tabla, the drums? Did you hear the harmonium, the little keyboard? Did you hear the sitar, the one that looked like a guitar? And did you hear the pakawich, the long drum? Most importantly, did you hear the gungru? Very good. I hope everyone enjoyed learning about Kathak today. See you next time.